Warning, some parts of this game are disturbing or cruel. And this is a serious content warning as well. It deals with sexual assault or sexual violence, self-harm, I believe, as well. So if you find those subjects too disturbing, then I would suggest skipping this game. If not, I find the story very interesting, but very heavy as well. Hello and good evening. Welcome back to Enola. Maybe I was calling this Enolia <laughs> at one point. <laughs> a strange but wonderful, a wonderfully strange, eerie game. Midnight Heaven. Okay, so we're going into here. I gotcha. Seems like there's like maybe four levels. Oh, is this going to be appropriate for YouTube? Monster. See, there's, there's no nips. No nips equals... What rhymes with nips? <laughs> equals clicks. I don't fucking know. Can I not read this? This looks like a no I should be able to read. Whoa, whoa, that was very intense screen check. I don't need a save, I just saved it outside the building. What? Hello? There are monsters that appear infrequently, I will say. These clot what's in these clod hoppers? I'm going down. Um All right, let's, let's go. I'm not too sure how this is all going to end. But. I don't know, we're going down. But I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for the ride. I'm here for the journey. Is there going to be a jump scare? I don't like jump scares. Am I doing this wrong? Or right? Let's just keep going. It's a test of endurance. Wow. <laughs> you just run down a long hallway. There should be a save at the bottom. Oh, this is nice. Swanky. A lot of red. I see a juke... A jukebox? Some more posters. Aha, there is a save. Uh, if you fancy yourself a drink, go ahead. A uh, little, little dancing. Alright. We gotta investigate the pole in the stage. Did I get the dance? <laughs> Alright, what's up here? Oh, VIP. Me. Um. Okay. Well, there's nothing up here. Nothing that I can tell. So, oh, there's, there's two doors. Let's go to the bar. I don't think there's anything there. All right, we can't go through that door. Go through this door. You know what? The graphics remind me of Morrowind. That's what it reminds me of. Is this a different room? 
or the same room, but different. Why are they so aggressive with the saves? Nine rings for nine maidens. And they one ring to rule them all. didn't guess my intentions. I took them home and nailed them to the bed. Jesus. They were bleeding, screaming, begging for mercy. Pierced their bodies with a knife. Blood stained my sheets. One by one, they were all dead. I went to the alley and gifted them to the rats. So this guy's pretty fucked up. <laughs> oh. Open. Open. There are three slots here. Looks like I can put something in them. All right. Um, uh, private rooms? <laughs> Alright. Do you think there's anything in these, or...? That's a cup. Oh yeah, the chalice. This one's closed. Is that a person? I can't really tell what that is. Kinda looks like a person though. Costumes. Door's locked. Hmm. Oh. Ma'am, are you are you okay? have a random box here. It's so out of place. Quickly checking over here. Nope. What's with the music? Go upstairs one again. Just to look. No. Okay, we're blocked off. So this door? Alright. Oh. Oh. Hello? Sort of freaky, eh? These are the offices. <coughs> Costumes room key. The key has a tag that means Costumes. All right. Wow. Well, okay. Anna. It's broken. Dance for me. I'll put the music. Can I activate this? It doesn't appear so. Heidi? Yikes. I don't think Heidi made it. Karen? Nope. The fuck? Oh shit. Hello? What the fuck? Some messed up shit. I'm the only one Mary is getting in bed with. Maybe she needs a friend or something and thinks she can trust me because of my angel face. She keeps Ew. asking me about my life. I have no idea what these whores have in their heads. I didn't come to talk, and she should know that. She may have a pretty face and a friendly personality, but she isn't different from those women walking down the street half naked begging for it. I really hate those women. Alright, I think you have some issues you need to work out. <laughs> if 
Priscilla. Huh. Mary. Oh, oh god. Golden rings rod. Nine rings. Ugh. Eighty. <gasps> Angelica is slashed out though. Angelica, what were you doing here? Just an empty wine bottle, okay. Some pile of wood and a button. Welcome. Fuck. Fuck. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. You can't hide. I can see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, he's freaking me out. <laughs> Stay away from the No kidding. The lips. Rebecca. Broken. Yeah, here's a flash. I remember that. Woo! Spirit of Angelica. Last night, I couldn't stop thinking about the redhead girl. Every time I close... I think that's... M Mari? Uh, or Mary? Every time I closed my eyes, I saw her on my bed. Couldn't take it, so I... I don't know if there's a word for it. I used my finger... I used my fingers down there. Oh, she thought of her in that way. It felt horrible. Oh. It was just like that time Mary tried to do it. I could even feel Jack on top of me. I remembered everything. Everything they did. Everything they made me do. Cried all night. Felt completely helpless. So, yeah, there's like a huge sexual trauma that Angelica has undergone. Or, yeah, Angelica has undergone. <gasps> Motherfucker! I want that wine bottle. No, 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 no. Did he hear me? <laughs> Go this way. Go this way. Don't get trapped. Okay, does he patrol? Does he move around? Did he hear me? Did he see me? I don't know the answer to these questions. I don't know why, but that fucking guy freaks me out. There's something, maybe because of how old this game is. It's just like, oh my fucking god, what's happening? I guess I got gated off. There's something about that guy that fucking rubs me the wrong way and like, like, it just, it, it disturbs me. Very strange, very strange. Welcome. Fuck me. Go. I lowered the gates. Try this button again. They look lower than it was before. Give me that save. Okay, so now I see the convenience saving here. So we got a wine bottle and we got a ring? Rings? Yes, okay. Oh, where's the key? I forgot the key. Is 
in here. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Forgot about that guy. Whew. Now we should just be able to go to the costumes. Please no monsters. Got a bunch of mannequins. Costumes. <laughs> Tries them on. And let's try the store. What the hell? Ah, oh, it's a torture dungeon. Until she bleeds and ram the knife in her chest. Make her bleed. Make her cry. Make her suffer. Make her beg. When she can't take it anymore, release her. Show her the open door and let her crawl to it. Let her think she can save herself. Oh my god. When she can feel the fresh air, thinking she can escape, grab her legs and drag her back in for more. Destroy that horse. She deserves it. <sighs> Ugh, that's disturbing. I shouldn't have pressed the button. Mannequins are such a trope now, like, you still see it today in horror games and movies. Oh, I'm, in, I'm on the behind now. There wasn't anyone behind here, was there? Okay. You got another flash. Yo. <laughs> I tried a second time. The kissing was a little weird uh, at first, but she was very gentle, so I ended up liking it. When I did it, she didn't scream. She saw me with a very fast sad face. I could see she felt surprised and betrayed, but it didn't work. Again, I felt empty. But it didn't work. Is she referencing like some sort of gratification? Possibly. Close. Oh. Golden heart key. <gasps> The key to my heart. That's the key we need to get out of here? Because remember we started in a freaking house? Oh. I invented a unique machine. It does not use wood or steam to function. It uses human blood. Woman's blood. This is like the epitome of an insult. <laughs> Uh, this is like super disturbing and super misogynistic, right? I made this machine to open the gate to the place where darkness reigns. Fresh blood is needed for the machine to run and it has to be extracted while the woman is in agonizing pain. <gasps> Jesus Christ! <sighs> Fucking scared the shit out of me. I thought something was attacking me. Man, this room is fucking tall. Uh. Don't tell me I have to, like, do something with this. <laughs> Fuck! What's happening? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Get away from me! Fuck off! Fucking killed me, didn't he? Fucking. I don't know how to stop this! Mash the buttons. Oh, I was mashing, dude. No, it's really fucked up. Is whenever I was attacked, it seemed like I was being attacked. But now that it's played out, it's more than just an assault. You know, 
That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. News? What? What was that statement? Holy fuck, what's happening here? Oh. Oh! Spiked rod. There was one here the entire time. I must have missed one? But where? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> Wine bottle with red stuff. Let me tell you, sister, that red stuff ain't wine. The machine is this way. May have to turn around quickly. Hopefully I don't get attacked again. Um... I don't know if I have to do use? I must have used it. Well, I'm just summoning Satan or something. This? Wait, why do I only have spiked rods now? Oh, what the fuck? Knife rod. It must have been in the center and I didn't notice. That guy actually in here. I'm assuming the rod was in the middle of those four mannequins. I just didn't notice. Uh, what's the order here? I still think I need to go back to that machine. Cause I didn't I don't have the key. And two second slot there. I don't know what I did. Here? Does this work? It works now. What's happening? I'm just s scared, understandably. Are we gonna get attacked? Oh. Okay, we got a <laughs> these dark soul cages. Ugh. Seemingly more torture devices. Tools. The voice of Freya. Do you know what Edmund told me at told me our wedding told me at our wedding night? He told me I needed to learn to please my husband. Boy. He forced me to have sex with him every night till the day he learned I was pregnant. This boy, Caleb. Really reminds me of your father. Oh. <laughs> Please don't see him anymore and just wait for the right time. You're intelligent, sweet, and beautiful. One day you'll meet a man that really loves you and respects you. I want you to have children that are born out of love. Mom knows best. Alright, pull a lever.
Okay, I'm assuming I have the key. I'm gonna go save it and then go back. There you go. Must have just been a visual glitch. And like, the inventory is a little spotty in this game. I don't know if this is because of, like, how old the game is or if it was always like this. Not sure. I don't know if anything's gonna be explained, like, who I am, like, as a Nola, how I got here, where's Angelica, what all this was, my darkest secrets, my nightmares. We're in some cave now. Right? Press on. Here's something. <laughs> what a wonderful little soundscape we have here. See? Doesn't this feel like a uh, Morrowind now? Again, it's probably just the graphics. Another fire. Alright. Okay, uh, let's uh, quickly cross this bridge. You know when I said I shouldn't save it? Oh, what happened here? Hey. You? Oh, I gotta be careful not to be holding down any buttons. It starts auto running. Deepest secret. Darkest night. <gasps> Does that say prey? What does that say? I wanted to know. Go back. You must be really stupid to come here. Hold on. I don't want to go down that elevator just yet. I want to check this area out first. Ooh. Fire is burning. Hmm. Just a simple little home. But this is very much like the cabin before. Is there anything else I need to be seeing? Why is there a cabin down here? Why? There's just nothing to it. You just can look. It's fine. Did it test falling off? All right. Yeah, I don't know what that says. You must be really stupid to come here. Why are you here? Why are you coming after the monster? Maybe you want revenge for what I did. <laughs> oh. Yeah, maybe. You deserve it. Can't move. Oh. Oh. Oof. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sure, I thought it was a cutscene, seeing, seeing as I couldn't move. Didn't sound good. What? I think the game was glitching before. Oh. Oof. You know what I did to her, right? I mean, what we all did to her. She tried to resist, but Jack hit her so hard, she fell to the ground. Oh, gasping. is this Caleb? Jesus. And again, until she bled. 
Then he picked her up and put her on the table. Your girlfriend's boyfriend grabbed her arm, and I grabbed one of her legs. No. So Jack could do his thing. He told me not to cover her mouth because he wanted to hear her scream. And he really made her scream. Fucked up, dude. This game is like emotionally tense. Okay, the music is really loud there. Alright. We have reached Anyway, oh. do you want me to continue? Do you want to know what else happened? Jack Forster Oh my god. Trigger warnings all over the place. I, I'm like very compelled to continue But I will have to continue next time it's heavy To say the least at the moment Jesus Well, I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time